What's up, guys? Cecil West, and of course, the one and only... John Lippy. And we are hitting you again. It's the question of the day. You know the rules. I'm going to ask a question, or John's going to ask a question, and then we're going to chop it up, and then we want you guys to give us your answer in the comments below. Today's question, it's a good one. It's probably the most loaded question I'm going to be able to give here because up until now, you haven't had to be real specific. I want to know today, what's your favorite Bone Thug song of all time? And it can include solos if you want to go solo. As easy of a, of a question this seems like, it's it's so difficult. There's so many. I don't even know how to answer it. I'm going to go with a, with a surprise because I could listen to this one over and over again it never gets old and i'm going with the introduction from eternal the introduction what? execution double wow. nine style execution double yo i i i didn't see that coming at all as it's, your favorite of all of I, all time i think anytime it comes on i just it I, I was as i was evaluating you know how to answer i'm like what what will never grow old and that song has never grown old some of them grow old but the introduction, execution, double nine style, has never grown old. The beat, the build up, everything—it's a perfect track. Wow, I, yeah, that, I mean, it's an awesome answer. I, I didn't see that coming at all, but that's an awesome answer. I, fucking, I mean, this is such a hard question, um, to give an answer to, and when when we were doing all these questions up, I'm gonna tell you right now that like even then I was like. Uh, I don't fucking know. And I bounce around a lot, you know. It's it's so easy to bounce around a lot because I got some shit that I really love right now. But I'm like, well, it's some of the newer stuff, is that going to last? Is, is that going to be an eternal answer? Um, I, t I tell you that in my top three, I got I got a weird one. I got Can't Give It Up. But I, wow. I don't think that's number my my number one. Uh, that's news uh, to me, right? I, I, you know, you've always talked about can't give it up, and I never, I never realized how much that one meant to you. So that that's that's news to me. Can't give it. Now I understand I, what I, you're talking about all these years. I I love that song. I think that's I think that song. I think that song happened like. You know, it's lost in the shuffle, but that song happened at an important time for Bone Thugs. Like they were kind of at like the splitting place, and and it, and if you listen, it's a real, it's it's more personal than you know what what what's I guess on on face value. And you know, we've kind of got used to them falling in and out of the group, but that was like the first time like they broke up, and then we saw like a real reunited Bone. Uh, and that song was just was so good. So it's it's top three, top five anyway. But but I I bet it's in my top three. Um, my number one. Fuck man, <laughs> I fucking hurt myself with this question. It's hard. Um, it's hard. It's so hard to answer. It sounds easy, but it's so hard. Down seventy one is probably like in my top five that one might even be number two but i think my favorite bone song of all time is fucking handle the vibe oh yeah yeah, yeah. man it, 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 i it's it's got to be handle the vibe because i think my heart stopped the first time i heard it yeah mine did i, I couldn't breathe yeah. it yeah i i think i think the very like and i and i don't know if it was and I talk about the introductions a lot, you know, the Bone album. So I don't know if it was like that, like hearing that introduction and the climax of that introduction and then that bass drop. But when that bass drop happens and handle the vibe, yeah, man, it's it's un, unreal. Like it's unreal. Like I, the only other time that I can remember similar feeling like the first time i heard notorious thugs like that beat but it but not even handle the vibe it, it, i just never i never get sick of it ever never 97 still not sick of it so that's that's mine 
Well, well I want to throw in a, a sneak uh, side question on this question of the day because it goes with this. So what would you say the most blown away you ever were from hearing a Bone song, solo or group, uh, what was the most blown away when you first heard it where you were just like, oh my goodness? Was it Handle the Vibe or was there was there another one that blew you away upon first listen? Um, I mean, I did, like I said, like I said, with Handle the Vibe, I definitely know that I, I felt that with Handle the Vibe. The, the first time I heard that, it just fucking murdered my fucking brain, I think. Um, I, I will say, too, like... You know what it is? I think Handle the Vibe was just like, gave me the the feeling, not like the style of Eternal, but the same like excitement I got off of Eternal. Because the Eternal album, like Down 71 and, and Crep and We Came and, and, we, and shit like that, like the first time I heard songs like that, I was like, I was geeking. I was like, like glad that the internet didn't exist and cell phones for somebody to record me like geeking like that um so i i can't say i, I it must have been something on eternal if before handle the vibe but definitely like the first one like i can remember and recognize like just like blowing my mind away was handle the vibe yeah same here handle the vibe just blew my socks away i, I couldn't wait to play it to everybody i knew and then later on, when Heated Heavy came out, I just, I couldn't even believe that Crazy could rap that fast. And the funny thing is, I think he's rapped faster than that since then. But at the time, Heated Heavy, I mean, I don't know, to the people in the crowd listening, uh, at the time of Heated Heavy coming out, could you think of something that went faster and just more quick? Heated Heavy just blew me away. Handle the Vibe blew me yeah. away. And, uh, oh, heated, and, and, and the first heavy. time hearing Thug Love, that, those, those gunshots, that beat... You know the beat on Thug Love blew me away. Not so much their flows, but just hearing that beat. It's it's we're used to hearing it now, but at the time I was just like, "What this this beat is incredible with the gunshots." Yeah, that was a different feeling. Like, blew me away, but like a different feeling. Like the first time you heard Thug Love, you were like, "Whoa!" Like your eyes got wide, and you were like, "Oh, shit!" <laughs> like, like so it, it was a different kind of blown away. Um, handle the vibe was just like me. Like, am I am I hearing this fucking right? I think I think you nailed it when you said heated heavy. You know what else? I I got that feeling off of now that I think about it. The intro to creeping on a come up when Lazy Bone is harmonizing of the whole like when when his part of the of the harmony on that intro comes in. I just think he sounds like the coolest motherfucker ever. Right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, like not that the whole thing isn't cool, but like, there, there's something really cool about the the way Lazy Bone sounds on the intro. Um, so I, I kind of got that off that too. So that, that's mine. My, my favorite song of all time, "Handle the Vibe," and and Johnny, what, what was yours again? You did the introduction off of Eternal. Yep. Yep. Man. The introduction. Those are two and, big songs. And it's this was a two parter, so also what's your favorite track and what was the most what song blew you away the most upon first hearing it? That's your question Z with an S. Questions of the day today, guys. Make sure you give us your answer down in the comment. Don't forget to subscribe beyond the harmony, beyond the harmony.com and share this with another fellow bone fan. Beyond the harmony for